And he has arrived at 3,000. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it, hit the left field deep. Way back. Brewer turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's 8, Texas 5. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. Cologne looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. That goes up to Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Cologne has gone deep. Tenth inning, 3-3. Three, three. Dodgers and Rockies. A beautiful summer night in Southern California from Dodger Stadium. Tonight, the second of four to begin the week between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Dodger baseball, and it's next on the show. Kenton Maeda is on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. HR, what's the word on him? Matt has lost two of the last three starts. A little bit of an inconsistent struggle, and hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. In is Curtis Granderson. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. Harold, you look at this Dodgers team as they enter play here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Well, Matt, it's always nice to play at home, and they got off on the right foot. Meanwhile, now this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now, that is the way you want to start a game on the road. He comes out swinging and stands at second as the first base runner of the night. Now we'll see if his teammates can pick him up and if they can punch first. Stepping in as Dribble Cabrera, currently third on the team in stolen bases. So we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. No one out with a runner at second. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3-2. and two. Well, we're playing cat and mouse already in the first inning. Look, I know it's a three-ball count, but I don't think he's pitching around it because look at the on-deck circle. That guy's a pretty good hitter, too. Checked his go? swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third-base umpire. So it's ball four. Batting third. The left fielder number 50. Oh man, that check swing was Joanna about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. None out, runners at first and second. In the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two one here it is. 
hard hit ball to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Granderson rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Well, after losing game one of the series, to get an RBI four. single in the first, first inning of game two 21. is a good sign. This Lucas. is a tough team, mentally tough, mentally strong, ready to go. Stepping in now, Lucas Duda. A fastball right over the outside corner. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And low and inside with a fastball as he's got a hot footed out of there. Yeah, when you're almost hitting guys, that's a sign that you're a little bit too jumpy out there to start the game. So that's a good move by the guy behind the plate to just come out and talk to him and encourage him and settle him down a little bit. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. All right, Los Angeles. Another try at 2-2. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Yeah. Now another 2 2. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Puig's got a read on it. He's got it one away. And now a chance to meet the Danny Mets. Vest. Danny, who stands Third out to you? Well, Matt, I really like the way Neil Walker is playing right now. He's hit over 400 in his last 10 games, and his team, they are really relying on him. He knows he's hot. His teammates know that he's hot, and you can bet the opposing pitcher, he knows he's hot, too. First and second now, one man out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The two two now to right. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Into the box now, Neil Walker in there, and it's even now, two and two. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. All even at two and two. Here it is. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Jay Bruce would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Mets one. The Dodgers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jacob DeGrom gets the starting nod for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, H? Matt, you look at the last three outings, and I know it's just a small sample size, but he's throwing the ball really well. And I look at his whip. His whip is 1-1. One, one. When you do that, you're throwing the ball pretty good. In now is Yasiel Puig, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Uh, and that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. Now that's a nice pitch. He ran that in there about mid-90s and put it past him. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, there's not a lot of guys that can swing the bat like Jock Peterson. He's coming off a nice month where he hit eight home runs. That's like two every week. If you could throw out two every week, you're going to have big numbers at the end of the year, and that's what he did last month. It showed me a lot about who he is and the power he has. Here's Jock Peterson now, and there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season.
There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cespit is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Batting third, the shortstop, Corey Seager. Here's Corey Seager. And as we give you a look at his splits, he's had the better of right-handers this season, no doubt about that. Bases are empty here with two men out. And the Three inning left. goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They're down one nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And it misses three and one now. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And don't Grabbing forget, in. he lost his last time out. So he wants Grabbing to get off on the right foot enough. here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Once again, a 3-2. And another foul ball. The next 3-2. Running yet again for second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. Well, let's take a look at the Dodgers defense nice. brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Now to the plate, Jacob DeGrom. And with a runner already in scoring position and one away, he is likely not to be bunting here. One one pitch is a circle change. It hits the target one and two. Ready on one and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Really good late bite on that slider right there. How the best it? ones have that That's late action that just starts at the last Randy minute. Said. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Curtis Granderson. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. The 2 1 now to Granderson. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. As Drupal Cabrera would be next. Line drive to center field. Peterson is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Mets leave one. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Ready now, Justin Turner. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's really struggled 0 for 10. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hard liner toward short, but right to Cabrera, and that's the first down. Batting set, first baseman, Adrian Gonzalez.
In now, Adrian Gonzalez. We show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. We're in the second, 1-0 Mets early on. And he lays off again, ball three. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. Well, Matt, every team's going to go through a losing streak, but you got to try to do something that's going to pull you out of it. One game at a time is really what you got to think about because if you don't, before you know it, five games leads to 10 and 10 games lead to 15. And before you know it, you're out of it. You lost a ton of games in a row. Standing in, Yosmani Grandal. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And that misses two and two. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball's coming in at that plane right there. Quality take line towards center field. Granderson is there, two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Batting seven. At the plate, Morgan Forsythe. And this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Hit on the ground to short. Cabrera's there. Throw in time and the side is retired. One left for L.A. It remains one nothing. Digging in for his second at bat as Dribble Cabrera. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ball. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Striding in once again, Joannis Cespedes, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The next 0 2. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Gone! A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. Number 17 for him on the season as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Yeah, and it looks like at least one player is having a night to remember. He drove in their only run earlier in the game and continues to hot hand with a deep one into the night sky. Into the box, Lucas Duda. Now a swing and a fly ball. Ethier on the move, and it in fact lands in the corner. Foul. The 3 2 one more time. Hit hard, but foul. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. 
Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Turner has it. Pro to first is in time to take care of Wright, and that's the second out. Now batting, second baseman. Digging in to try Neil it again. Walker. Neil Walker. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Two and two. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Turner will put this one away, and the side is retired. Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. We play two and a half. It's now two nothing New York. At the plate is Andre Ethier. In previous duels with Degrom, he's gone two for six. The pitch. Nope. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. For Walker now at second. Oh, and not fielded cleanly here by Walker. And the recovery is a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first Number out of the 18. inning. Into the box now. Kenta Maeda. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to one and two now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's the difference with two strikes, Matt. That ball's right in this wheelhouse. If he's ahead in the count, he probably hammers it. Two strikes, you foul it off. One, two pitches, a slider that misses. Two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty well, solid right, at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing yep, pitcher up there work and please. throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. Two out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line and left. And that is down as that could be two bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Great recognition. He's looking for a ball up. The breaking ball hung, and he stayed with it. When they're up high, let it fly. When they start out low, you got to let it go. Stepping in now, Jock Peterson. Squared that one up just a little late. Another 2-2 offering. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Here's Jay Bruce now. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Fouled back. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Get up. 
fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. He'll try again one two. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. And he takes ball three so it's a full count now having a hard time putting this hitter away here and when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start this is what I saw a lot of he's not closing the door on guys and when that's the case they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with and a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out now batting catcher here's the Travis catcher Travis Darno. he's 0 for 1 thus far bases are empty one man out. Hit down the third baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The two two one more time. Outside and a full count three and two. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean to recognize that and lay off it right now. That, that was nice. Skied in the air to straightaway left chasing after it is easier. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule Jacob double. DeGrom. Into the box now, Jacob DeGrom. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Lifted in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. Two down. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters and both guys have been coming with some low to mid 90s heat here 96 versus 93 as the top two speeds thus far. Breaking ball that's in the dirt as he takes a ball. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The two and one on its way takes a knee high fastball. Of course there was a fastball. A decent lead at second here's the pitch and this one's in the dirt. He's set. Here's the three and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that is a foul ball. Just missing extra bases deep in the corner. Another full count pitch home. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Peterson on the run. And that ends the inning. Mets strand one, but they're on top two to nothing. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak as the 2016 National League Rookie of the Year Corey Seager settles in to start things out. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Cespedes is going back. Still going back. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Dodgers are within a run. It's now two to one. Boy, 
Charlie, when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box, I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him, especially with a pitch like this. But they do, and he makes them pay for their mistake. He's been doing this all year long. In now, Justin Turner. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes ranging back. He makes the play, a fine running now, catch to get the first out of the inning. First baseman, Adrian. Gonzalez. Here's Adrian now. One run in and one gone so far this inning. One and one, here it comes. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. One run on three hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Oh, and he misses it. So problems out there in right field as this is going to wind up going as an E9. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh oh, he's in trouble. But he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs, and now he's got two strikes on this hitter. He's got a chance to get out of this unscathed the rest of the way. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now batting. So striding in, Logan Forsythe, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Takes something off, but it's one and two now. Men on third with two down. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Dodgers claw back a bit on the solo home run. We're through four, and this is now a two-to-one ball game. Digging in once again as Dribble Cabrera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. And a good eye here as he takes ball four and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Here's Yuan Cespedes. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two including a home run. Fifth inning two to one our score. Fastball called strike one and two. Look Matt this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Three. Curve ball strike three called and he didn't like it but there's the first out. Well no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close okay. pitches but not this time. I think that was actually a good take. But on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Standing in now, Lucas Duda. And a great location that time on the corner, three and two now. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. The third baseman, Here's five. the third baseman David Wright third trip to the plate for him here tonight 0 for 2 at this point runner in scoring position at second with two down and a full count now three and two. Come on, 
looking to keep this a one run game the pitch this is on the ground over to first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over Mets leave one they lead it two to one at the plate is Andre Ethier he's 0 for one thus far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he will run this one down, moving to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Number 18. Shake Sutley will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Chase Utley. Turned on down the line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. What a play by the right fielder. He cuts that ball off, holds him to a single, right keeps the double play 66. in order. That was a big yeah, hit right there, but a better play in right field. Into the box, Yasiel Puig. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Hits are now even at four apiece. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Now this was crazy. He throws a fastball by him. Then he comes back with an off-speed pitch. Now My question is, why are you speeding up his bat? John Peterson. Stepping in now. John Peterson hard hit at third and he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove in quickly with it is Cespedes and that'll force the runner to hold on at third base. Well that one's going to load the bases up they held the runner up they're really looking for a big inning right here trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. Into the box now. Corey Seager. Here's a drive toward the gap in right center, and that's going to split the alley for extra bases. Utley scores. Puig scores. Ah, but this throw is well up the line, and three runs have scored. Fourth RBI of the game. The go-ahead run, he just drove it in right there. He's feeling pretty good about his game right now. In now, Justin Turner. And a fastball just a bit high. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. Three and one to this guy. Whew, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count that gets him excited. Now, ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That Tucker elevated fastball. Every hitter Adrian thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Standing in now, Adrian Gonzalez. Three runs already home here. Pulled toward right center field. Granderson is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Five innings complete. It's the Dodgers four and the Mets two. Alex Wood takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 57, Alex Wood. Ready once again, Neil Walker. Lifetime versus this arm. Two hits in seven tries. And the pitch. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Into the windup. Here's the two-and-one pitch. 
Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Walker will take the turn here and look for second now. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Well, that's the sixth game he's hit in. He's swinging the bat pretty good now. That's 19. a six-game streak. You got to start somewhere. Bruce. Pay attention, people. He's getting hot. Digging in once again, Jay Bruce. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. Off speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Ready with another 2 2. Hit back up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting. Digging in and looking for more. Travis Darno. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Puig has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he's not even going to consider it here as he holds tight at third with two away now. Jose Reyes will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven, Jose Reyes. Two outs here with a runner at third. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. This one's down to third. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Dodgers four and the Mets two. Hansel right, Robles and enters to do the pitching in the bottom the of the sixth. Mets, number 47, Hansel Robles. Ready for another chance? Yosmani Grandal. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. This is skied into short left center. Granderson's after it. One down. Now batting. Second baseman. Ready for another Logan. shot now. Logan Forsythe. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. High pop up. Right is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. Left fielder. Digging in to try Andre. it again. Andre Ethier. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bruce has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. It's the Dodgers four and the Mets two. Back here at Dodger Stadium, 
the men in blue leading in this one as we get set to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's check out the game summary to this point. In is Curtis Granderson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. That's right there at the belt. One and two now. The pitch. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Two and one on its way. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. Four two our score. Chopped weakly to the left. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Here's Lucas Duda now. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, wow. That's what they call it. Jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Met strand one. Still down by a count of four to two. Scott Van Slyke. He's up off the benches. He'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Up the middle and off his leg. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. So we'll see what the decision is from the dugout, whether they want to challenge or not. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make the Ladies final and decision. Gentlemen, the Mets have decided to challenge. Okay, we're going to get one play. more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well-used challenge. Okay, so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision, and off comes the headset, and he's out. So the original call Upon is overturned, and instead of having a base runner at first, first base. the bases will now be empty. And overturned, and the batter ruled out. Into the box now, Yasiel yes. Puig. Uh, got him on the good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now batting, center fielder, 
Here's Jock Peterson now. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Fouled back. Look, Matt, he's done a nice job getting those first two outs. I mean, look, this is a good hitting team. And now you got the two hitter coming to the middle of the order. But you can limit the damage by getting. The and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Dodgers down in order, but they still lead this one four to two. Number 46 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 46. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Wright. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Second Time to give one. you a look now at the numbers Neil for our two Walker. starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Trying to pick things up where we left off Neil Walker. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Peterson is there now, and he has it two gone. So the Dodgers trying to close this one out in front of the home crowd here at Dodger Stadium as you get a look there at our line score through the first seven plus. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. And this continues right on through him as he couldn't knock it down. He absolutely smoked that ball right there. The infielder was ducking to get out of the no way of it. Catcher, Travis Darno. In now, Travis Darno. Curveball that time, not even close. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Change up misses and it's full 3 and 2. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. They trail it here four to two. Josh Edgen is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 66, Josh Edgen. Here's Corey Seager. He's two for three with a home run and a double. The one one pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Oh that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse and you foul it off. And Wright will put this one away for the first out. Now batting, third baseman. Riding in once Justin again, Justin Turner. Turner. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. 
And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. That's never where you want that changeup to be. Up in the zone, he hangs it. He still got away with it because it's still in the ballpark. That ball is one he hits to the moon usually. Stepping in now, Adrian Gonzalez. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Oh, and not fielded cleanly here by Walker. So that'll go down as an E4, as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Chopped weakly up the first base line, but that one rolls foul. Here's the one and two delivery. Again, he sends it out of play. Again, a one two. Boy, good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. Seems like he's thrown everything at him the kitchen sink, and he just fouled them off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Here's the pitch on two and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Hey, anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Standing in now, Logan Forsythe. He swings and grounds it to short. On to first, and the Dodgers come up with nothing as that ends the inning. Dodgers strand a couple as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Welcome back to the show's presentation of Major League Baseball. Great look there at the skylines of Los Angeles and Hollywood. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Kenley Jansen comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Batting in the sixth spot, number 74, Kenley Jansen. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot, number 35, Bobby. Michael Conforto is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench, ready to lead it off in the ninth. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's up near the top, currently tied for second in that category in the National League. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Career matchup numbers against Kenley Jansen, one for three. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. The shortstop, number 13, is Drupal Cabrera. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Tap down the line. And they will put the tag on him. They got him. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Four to two, the final score tonight. Kenta Maeda earns his fifth winner of the year. Kenley Jansen 
wraps it up for the save is 19th of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left six men on base. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double off the 375 marker. And we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. High deep drive into left field. Down